Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a symbol. We're going to be making a symbol out of this photo. We're going to use Live Trace. And I'm also going to make a symbol out of this. And I know it's an extremely crudely drawn Texas flag. And there's just some scribbles going on. But I just wanted to make sure you all understood this. You can make a symbol out of text, uh, objects, uh, paintbrush, or any combination. Or really anything that you can put down on an artboard you can make it into a symbol. And since I already got that drawn up, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start with my picture. And I'm going to do live trace. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to simple trace. I'm going to press expand. Now y'all might have to do something um, instead of doing a simple trace, if it was a more detailed drawing, you might want to do detailed illustration or something along that lines but for what I'm wanting to use it for a symbol I'm gonna go ahead and do simple trace I'm gonna press expand I'm gonna grab my white pointer which is also your direct selection tool I'm gonna de make sure it's deselected first and I'm gonna select the outside path I'm gonna press delete twice now if y'all got a bunch of lines you're probably gonna go out inside and delete everything but since this is such a simple photo um, it was just one single outline and now I've got this selected and if you want to do any changes like add a gradient or uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and change the color you want to change your colors now because after you after you set it as a symbol you're not gonna be able to change your color and also did y'all see that how it changes to gray instead of the orange here's a fantastic way to get around that because I've had a lot of people complaining about this come over here drop this down make a new swatch I'm gonna go to RGB and now you can just come in here now you don't have to use RGB you could use any of these but this is really the easiest way to do it and I want mine orange so I want to make it like that right there Press OK. You got a swatch. Now you can change your color. Okay, I got it changed. Now what you're going to want to do is just grab it, drag it, and drop it into your symbols. I'm going to name this one Jack O. Jack O Lantern. Um, and over here, what you would do for this. Is you're just going to highlight everything, which you could drag it and, and drop. Go ahead and marquee everything. You could select everything individually by holding Shift. Or a really simple way is to hold Alt and select the layer that you want. And it's going to automatically select everything. Like, watch, I'm holding Alt. And I selected it. Now everything on this layer is automatically selected. And just drag it and drop it into your symbols. I'm going to name this one big text graphic okay I'm gonna make sure I got this one set as a graphic alright now a problem you may run into like let's say you wanna bring it over here to a new one this is a, a new one it's not over here it's not over here a problem you may encounter is as you see I don't have either one of those symbols over here and there's a few different ways to do it but what I found the easiest way is if you have this opened up anyway just grab your symbol drag it over here and drop it on your page and it's automatically gonna add it to your symbols alright I appreciate y'all watching my videos y'all can make any requests and I'll make sure to get those tutorials finished and put up as soon as I can. Follow me on Twitter by following at bullet9992 to keep up with my tutorial uploads. Y'all have a great day.